not. And we're going to work on it tomorrow. Five point three from some indifference identities. Okay? So we're adding subtracting. We're adding subtracting something, right? All right. Specifically, we're going to talk about cosine sum indifference identities. So um, I eliminated the proof and just went straight to the identity. Since y'all said you do not care where it came from, is that correct? Yeah. All right. So I took out the proof. If you want to read the proof, the proof is in your notes on on your white space. Um, pull it out. So. When you have cosine of a plus b, so a and b are both angles, um, you can rewrite them and evaluate them as cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b, okay? This is useful when you have angles that are not on the unit circle, but you can rewrite them with angles that are on the unit circle. Does that make sense? Yes. Are you more than two? No, it's just two. Okay. Um, the thing about cosine, it is going to be cosine, cosine, sine, sine. What changes is the operation in the middle. It's going to always be opposite. So if it's adding, then when you expand it, it's going to be subtracting. If it's subtracting, when you expand it, it's going to be adding. Got it? Did we do the brush here? Yes, we did. Okay, it looks familiar. I just don't remember. We did. We did. Oh, I took up, get up. Okay, everyone write down the identity. Okay. We're going to do an example with the identity, and then I'll let that be our stopping point. Is that cool? Oh, we got numbers now. How are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all get on my nerves. Okay, so for it, up first, we have find the exact value of cosine 15. Well, cosine 15 is not on our unit circle, right? It's not quite there. But is there a way, thinking of our unit circle, our, our degrees and stuff on our unit circle, are there two angles that could be added or subtracted to make 15 in quadrant one? Yes. yes. What are those two angles? Uh, 45 minus 30. Exactly. So if we... Okay, so if we let angle A, I wouldn't let me write. I think this thing is out to get me. All right, if we let A equal 45 and we let B equals 30, we can create a cosine for this, right? So if we have the cosine of 45 minus 30. Substitute that in for our 15. Yes? That means we can expand this and evaluate the exact value of cosine of 15. Okay? So the pattern that you follow is cosine of your first angle times cosine of the second angle. My, I'm sorry, we're on subtraction. Plus sine of your second angle times sine. The sine of your first angle times sine of your second angle. We're just going to expand it out. So we have cosine of 45 times cosine of 30 plus sine of 45 times sine of 30. And we're going to use our unit circle to find those values. So the cosine of 45 is what? Square root of 2 over 2 times the cosine of 30. Square root of 3 over 2. Plus sine of 45 times the sine of 30, 1 half. So as we keep evaluating this, we're going to end up finding the exact value of cosine of 15. When you're multiplying fractions, it's numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So we have the square root of 6 over 4 plus the square root of 2 over 4. When your denominators are the same, that means you can combine your numerators. So we end up with the cosine of 15 equals the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. And you would leave it there because there's nothing else you can simplify.
So that's what it means by the exact value of cosine of 15. It says of Where? Mm, I don't know why it says that. I'll double check. That one wasn't too bad. Yeah. But I know the next example is going to hit me like the train. Well, oh, so it already oh, has two. It didn't combine, but then multiply the two times the number. Oh, then the textbook messed up. Well, so you do you not combine the square root of six and the square root of two? No, um, because it's not multiplication. You can combine radicals That's through right. multiplications. All right. Now. I start off with the degree because the degrees are a little easier for us to see how to make two, right? So tomorrow we're going to pick up, but instead of using a degree, we're going to use a radian, okay? If the radian does truly bother you, what could you do? You can convert it to a degree and work it as a degree. But we're going to challenge ourselves tomorrow and work it as a no, radian. That's a radian. That's a radian, okay? All right. But was that terrible? Degrees are, are our friends. I get it. All right.